What? My portfolio went down more than hundred and fifty thousand dollars. What is happening? Hi, みなさん、all Kylie. This is Chloe, and welcome back to my channel, the all-in-one place for you to learn about investing, stocks, as well as options. If it's the first time of you coming to my channel, remember to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you will be immediately notified whenever I publish my new investment insights. An early thumbs up is also appreciated because it will tell YouTube algorithm that you find this video helpful and actually help to push out to more people to inspire them to start investing safely. Lately, the market is having some pullback. Is that the reason why my portfolio also dropped hundred and fifty thousand dollars? The answer is obviously. No. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what I did to my portfolio and the reason behind why I chose it to be this way. And I hope that through my sharing, you can learn how to plan your portfolio better for 2022 and beyond. Now, before I start, I just want to say that this is not a buy or sell recommendation. I'm just sharing openly about my own investment thoughts, and you really have to do your own homework before making any form of investment decision. With that clear, let's get started. Firstly, I did not lose money from the stock market. In fact, I actually made pretty decent profit. Profits before the market drop, I actually closed off quite a number of my options position because the market was reaching all-time high. I talk about me closing my options position to take profit during the video right here. And if you took action together with me, you will have made pretty decent profits as well. So what contributed to my hundred and fifty thousand dollar drawdown? Well, that's because I actually transferred. My funds, hundred and fifty thousand dollars from TD Ameritrade to Mumu Broker. The reason why I'm doing this is because as my portfolio grows bigger, I just want to make sure I also start to diversify into different brokerage platform to diversify my risk. So why did I decide to transfer hundred and fifty thousand dollars to Mumu Broker? Firstly, it's licensed under MAS, which is Monetary Authority of Singapore, and the U.S. securities in our Mumu account are protected up to five hundred thousand dollars by Security Investor Protection Corporation. Second. It's backed by a very strong company called Tencent, and using Mumu, not only can I invest in the U.S., I can also invest in global markets such as Hong Kong, China, and Singapore as well. But the most important reason is because I just want to make sure that as my funds grow bigger, I diversify into different brokerage, and both of them give me the level of protection that I need for my big portfolio. On top of that, in these two months, Mumu actually has been running a very attractive campaign where you just need to transfer your shares. To Moon Broker of up to two hundred thousand dollars, then you will even get a free iPhone thirteen. And tada! I got my free iPhone thirteen, just like the email described, which is worth close to thousand five hundred dollars. This offer is limited for the first fifty customers who actually transfer in more than two hundred thousand dollars worth of shares into Moomoo. So if you also want to grab this chance right now, make sure you do that if you already have a big portfolio like me. Of course, apart from getting the free iPhone, I also see Moomoo as a platform for me to park my long-term investment inside. When it comes to long-term investing, I just want to make sure I collect quality businesses such as Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Tesla, and that is why I do not want to trade those stocks. I just want to make sure I put them aside and let them make money for me, even when I'm sleeping. And that is why I consider my Moomoo portfolio to be my do not touch portfolio. And I will just let it be. If you have not signed up for Mumu yet, this month they are even doing a very special campaign where you actually get a free Apple share as long as you fund two thousand and seven hundred Singapore dollars inside. And on top of that, you will even get a forty dollars stock coupon. For me personally, I also want to support your investment journey. So if you sign up Mumu through my link below, I will personally even send you my own private portfolio watch list that is really up to date. And in fact. Just recently, during the market pullback, I'm using my watch list because I'm sharing with you exactly what I buy, what price I buy, and what is the strategy that I am investing in. And I'm pretty sure that my portfolio will continue to accelerate with my own watch list. All you need to do is to apply your Mumu through my link below and send in your Mumu ID to my Google form over here, so that I will be immediately notified whenever you sign up to my link, and I will send my portfolio watch list to your inbox. Now. I'm going to give you some more warning. My portfolio is going to drop by another hundred thousand dollars very soon because once again, I'm going to pull up some funds and start investing in the property market. 
For those who have been following me closely on my Telegram channel, you will know that I have actually recently purchased my first ever private property in Singapore. And I bought this very beautiful unit, one better at Normanton Park over here, which is a project that is full of future growth development. And in Singapore, if you were to buy a private property, the down payment, including tax and stamp duty, will made up about 30% which is about $300,000. And that is why I do need to liquidate some funds from my TD Ameritrade to fund my property investment. And you may be wondering, Chloe, why are you forking out $300,000 to invest in property when you could have used that money to invest in the stock and options market and get better return? I absolutely agree that stock and options are wonderful vehicles for us to accelerate our return. And I still believe that in the long run, this is definitely one of the best investment vehicle that you can ever find out there. However, I can't help but to feel that as my portfolio start to grow bigger, I do need to diversify into different investment vehicles so that to diversify my risk as well. One of the books I'm reading recently, it's called Richer, Wiser and Happier by William Green. Inside this book, the renowned financial journalists interview many famous investors all over the world, including Sir John Templeton, Manish Prabhai and Joe Greenblatt. And among it, one of the chapters that I found extremely useful is the interview done to this very famous fund manager called Matthew McLennan. McLennan believed that the future is intrinsically uncertain and investors should focus on avoiding permanent losses and building a portfolio that can endure various states of the world. Basically, he's sharing that we need to respect uncertainty and don't be overconfident as well as overcomplacent in any single market as well as any investment instrument. And as I'm reflecting on on my own investment approach, I can't help but to feel that I can be sometimes overconfident in the US market. Don't get me wrong, I still believe that long term wise, the US economy is continuing to going to grow because there's more and more populations and people are getting more affluent as well. Most importantly, the US market really has high quality companies that is not just US based, but globalized that is able to make money all over the world. But to ensure that I don't get overcomplacent and play safe against my own ignorance, that is why I decided to diversify my portfolio into the Singapore property market, which has been a very stable and steady investment vehicle for the past decades. As you can see in the chart below, we showcase the private property prices in Singapore since 1970s. We can see that a very clear uptrend in the property prices. And according to this chart, the Singapore house prices also grew by 7.5% year on year in September 2021, followed an increase of 7.1% year on year in the previous quarter. And because we all know that property game is a leverage game, your return could potentially be way more than that. On top of that, according to the latest figures released by URA for the second quarter of 2021, there are just about 47,000 private residential units that are under either construction or planned in the Singapore property pipeline currently. And with COVID-19 delaying the projects, as well as the number of supplies actually decreasing in the next few years, the private property market is really set to grow. And also because of COVID-19, more and more people in Singapore are willing to invest in a better space because right now we really cannot reverse this trend of working from home. So with better facilities such as swimming pool, our own gym in our own condominium, more and more people are really opting for condo as Singaporeans getting more affluent. According to Population Consensus 2020, more Singaporeans are choosing to live in private condominiums. In 2020, 16% of the residents live in condominium and other apartments compared to only 11.5% back in 2010. Lastly, the interest rate remains to be really low. Even with interest rates set to increase due to better economy outlook, the US Federal Reserve has indicated that interest rate will be sustained at low levels until at least 2023. So you still have certain buffer time to enjoy this current low interest rate market. So for my own property, my loan is about only 1% interest rate. And because of that, my monthly mortgage is lower and I'm able to actually increase my yield as well. Of course, I'm definitely not a pro in property investing because I just got started in this journey. However, my mentor Pete, who has actually multiple properties in Singapore, he's definitely that person that you want to seek advice from should you decide to invest your next property. 
and because of him i managed to find a very great project which is normanton park that is within my budget that still has a lot of future growth potential so i'm pretty sure that he's able to help you to find your dream home within your budget as well and because you are my ultimate supporter he's willing to give you his consultation completely free of charge all you need to do is to apply via the link below and he and his team will get in touch with you to help you in your investment journey that's it that explains why i'm pulling out more than two hundred and fifty thousand dollars out of my td ameritrade to diversify my risk into different brokerage as well as different investment vehicle if you find this video helpful remember to give it a thumbs up as well as share it to your friends so that more people can be inspired to start investing safely last but not least remember to join my private telegram channel because i constantly update a lot of insights over there as well with that happy investing and i will see you in the next video Mother likes you. Bye-bye.